Hey, we're back. I think we're back. And uh, I know most of you have gone on to do other things. Hello, High Plains James. Sorry, it took like a minute. It, it wouldn't allow me to immediately get back into Instagram Live. Or is that just me? Let's see if we can answer a few questions. Swiss cheese, 311. I like it. I like it. Mortuary ghoul again. Guys, you got great names. Hello, S7TO. Hello, everybody. This is for Millie. Put on your favorite quote. Hi, you, Millie. But I guess that's how it works, right? I guess Instagram Live, you get like 60 minutes and then it then it just cuts you off. Is that how it works? Hey. Yeah. You'll be dressed as Bessie. Oh! I like that. Thank you. Was there anything they cut from my character that you wish was kept in? Mm-hmm. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. From Northern Ireland, hello, Belfast or wherever you are, Carrick Fergus. I wish I had you in Carrick Fergus. Great song. Constipated as usual. Well, that's great, Jace. Thanks for, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> This is for you, Millie. How are? How am I? I'm fine. I'm fine. You know, E N T X T seventeen. That's very kind of you to watch this on behalf of a friend. Do I have any advice for starting actors? Hello, Gavin. Hello, Janine. Hope you're doing well up there. Right? You having a good Saturday? <coughs> Barkley, you're welcome. Tango and cheddar. That's right. <laughs> you're very welcome. That's another formula that, you know, they've devised to uh, allow us to communicate with you and and uh, make money. You know, I don't want you to spend all your money saying hi and keeping in touch and stuff. I mean, I know it's, it can get expensive, especially with, you know, 15 significant Red Dead characters. <coughs> Excuse me. But Cameo, yeah, some people have done a lot of Cameos. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with it. It's just a way to, again, communicate with you but it's 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 one way it's me talking like this for a couple of minutes about you know how great you are <laughs> and why not you are oh i'd love to get to belfast i'll tell you what i want to do this is what my wife and i hope to do and and i'm the one who makes the travel plans but i'm hoping to fly to dublin sometime in the next two years Move around down to Cork, maybe, and then get up, maybe on through the West Coast and get up to Belfast and then take the ferry to Scotland, right? Not going to Edinburgh, Glasgow, just staying in the very west of Scotland for like two or three days. You know, that's a possible itinerary. Will it happen? Who knows? Yes, I will be your Valentine. Be happy. Be happy to be your Valentine. Hayden Fleming, B. Simpson, she, she's Jim Dead. Well, that's quite a name. She's Jim Dead. Can you tell us about Blackwater? Well, yeah, you know, sometimes uh, the plan isn't as well executed as it needs to be, is it? 
It's tough when law is on your trail, right? Think of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, right? They were determined. That's a true story. I mean, I don't know. The movie, the movie of 50 years ago glamorized it, of course. But uh, if you just Google Butch and Sundance, and I can't remember their real names. Um, but they were chased. They were chased all over the place. Yeah. Can I sing a show tune? Can I sing a show tune? There's no business like show business. Look up. False start. Can we start again? Can I audition again? There's no business like show business like no business I know. Everything about it is appealing. You know that one, right? That was Ethel Merman. That was her great song, right? Yeah, brashy... Broadway show tunes. Got to got to enjoy it. All right. So I'm happy to talk here. We'll do this for the next 10 or 15 minutes, okay? Um, if anybody does want a photo, please just go to streamily.com and present your information and I'll I'll get it. We'll get it to you. We'll get it to you. One thing about reaching, you know, middle age and beyond is people start to say, sir, how are you, sir? Thank you, sir. Nowhere can you get that happy feeling than when you're stealing that extra bow. Do I think, yeah, would was Jose still be in the gang if we'd had kids? I, you know, hey, I wasn't there for a while, remember? But the, the joy of being outside, that wandering life, vagabond life, with Dutch, well, I was bound to return to it when uh, when Bessie wasn't there anymore. It's funny how my voice just drops right when I start talking about Bessie. Well, there were good times. There were good times. Hello, Iraq. It's so exciting, right, to sit here and be saying hello to you guys everywhere. Yeah. My friend's favorite character in Red Dead is, is, uh, is Hosea. Well, who's your favorite character? Yeah. Oh. Can I give life advice as Hosea? Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Love people and travel. There. That's about it. Travel. Travel's the best education. See how other people live in, what they're thinking. Right? It's important to find that out. It's important to, you know... Wherever you're going, Northern Ireland, India, Iceland, you know, Bangladesh, and, and say, why, why why do you think this way? What makes you think that way? Well, because these are our experiences and this is what we think. Oh, okay, that's good, right? Open up your mind a bit. Yes, I think Dutch kind of went a little haywire. Don't you? Yeah. He was sort of on his way there, though, don't you think? He was he was starting to uh, lose it a bit. Yeah. All right, guys, so we're just going to take a few more minutes. A goofer. What is a goofer? A goofball? A comedian? I don't know. Um, let me see. Any more secrets? Any more Red Dead secrets? Um, uh, I'll tell you when I, when I originally auditioned for Red Dead, you know, God, probably over 10 years ago, excuse me, <laughs> I didn't know it was a Western. They had me come into this room and, uh, I was told by the casting agent, okay, just walk around the room, walk around the room a bit. And I was like, that's very weird. Walk around the room. Yeah. And I don't know if they wanted to see, yeah, he walks like a cowboy, because I, I had no idea it was a, a cowboy game. Um, so I walked around the room for about two minutes, and then they said, all right, now let's do this scene. And of course, the scene that we did had nothing to do with Red Dead, nothing to do with Westerns. It was some contemporary sort of detective thing. You know, they just wanted to hear me out a bit. They wanted to get some sense, I guess, of my character, my personality, and... And then they said, all right, you're going to play Hosea tomorrow. 
Oh, okay. So show up. Okay, we got Jose. You're doing another day. Oh, okay. Again, you've only got your material for the day. You've got like six pages of script or something. So I don't know. Is Jose a major character? Is he just here to say hello to a few people and leave? And that turned into four and a half years. And that was great. It was a great time, I'll tell you. The, the director, the director of Red Dead is a man named Rod Edge. And I think he did GTA 5 and he's probably doing GTA 6 too. I don't know because I haven't spoken to him in a while. But he's a brilliant director. He put it all together, right? He put the actors together and made it work. And then you got all those animators and everybody figuring out how to improve on it and, you know, make it more exciting. The music, the, the graphics, right? It's a huge operation. Um, I'm glad you played it multiple times. That's right. Right? It's good to go different ways, right? Buy different accessories, different benefits as you move along. See where you go. I love the ones that say, well, you know, if Jose had done this, if he'd stayed close to that fence, then he wouldn't have died. Uh, you know, he would have been late, maybe. He wouldn't have been stuck there and picked up and then forced to cross that street. Dutch, Dutch. Guys, you're so sweet. I wish you well. Yeah, yep. Yeah. How much did you make? $50 million. Yeah, we're very well paid. Yeah. And if you believe that, I got some property for you. In Northern Ireland. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going to say goodbye in one minute. Is that good? Um, can I do other impressions? Sure. You come to uh, Deadwood. Deadwood? Black Hills out there in June in South Dakota, and I'll do a few for you. Every actor does some impressions, you know. They're not always very good, right? Everybody thinks he does Christopher Walken really well. He's so distinctive. God, I was just on YouTube yesterday, and there's some uh, some BMW commercial, right? And, and Christopher Walken is walking around. It's a commercial for the commercial, as someone said, and, and you have all these people doing their best Christopher Walken. It's really quite hilarious because they're all very good. Guys, thank you so much for being part of Red Dead Nation. Um, Sarah in Australia, if you're there, I wish you well. Um, everybody else from England, jolly old England, gosh. I know the. It's these are tough days in the UK right now. And uh, in a lot of other places, right? It's... A, it's we're, we're all facing uh, challenges right now here in the U.S. too, right? Election year. Who knows what the future will look like? So we keep together, right? We good people, we cowboy people. And uh, I love you all for, for joining this today and for participating and for being fans of the game, you know? But get out there too. Don't just stay staring at a screen all day long. Get out there and walk around and see the world. All right. I love you guys. Be well. Outlaws for life.